Okay, we're going to be working with this uh, oil painting uh, filter today. Actually doing an oil painting without using a filter. And uh, this is the picture that we're going to uh, we're going to be working with. And uh, Photoshop has a built-in oil filter, but it's flaky and uh, sometimes can lock up your computer. So we're going to do this uh, in a step-by-step -step process uh, using some different filters and image adjustments to, uh, to make it happen. Okay, so the very first thing we want to do is we want to duplicate uh, the background layer. Now you can do that however you want to do it. You can right-click duplicate layer. You can hit Control J or you can, as I generally do it, I drag it down to the new layer icon and make a copy like that. However you want to do that, that's fine. Rename it Man 1. And this is where we'll actually uh, start our work uh, on this particular project. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to go to Image. We're going to go to Adjustments. And we're going to choose Shadow and Highlights. And Shadows will um, change various parts of the parts of the image for us. So we want to go 30 with that and you can see how it uh, how it brightened uh, the picture up quite a bit there. Then we're going to go to levels. You can do this a couple of ways. You can go to image adjustments and choose levels or you can hit control L on your keyboard and that will bring up the levels uh, setting for you. However you want to do that is fine. Now remember we have shadows, we have midtones, we have highlights, those three areas. Okay, so I'm going to take the shadows and I'm just going to take them down to 10. I want to leave the midtones right where they're at. And I want to take the highlights and take them down to about uh, 220. I think we'll be good for those. So Here's our before, here's our after, and you can notice that glow that kind of is around the guy uh, disappears when we adjusted um, the levels. You can go ahead and hit OK on that. Now we want to duplicate the Man 1 layer. Again, you can do that however you want. I click and drag and take it down to the new uh, layer icon, however you want to do it. Control J, whatever works best for you. And you can leave it as man one copy uh, for right now. That'll be fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to filter. We're going to add a high pass to this. We're going to go to filter, down to other, and we're going to choose high pass. And we're going to make the radius for this 2.0. 2.0. So you can go ahead and hit OK. And then I want to take the blending mode and I want to change it to overlay. Blending modes are right here. Take the blending mode and change it to, to overlay. Then I want to take these two layers. I want to take the man and the man one copy and I want to merge them together. So I'm going to hold down, I'm going to make sure that the man one is highlighted. I'm going to hold down shift and click on the other layer, the man one layer. And then you can do it a couple of ways. You can hit control E on your keyboard that will merge them. You can right click and you can go here to merge layers that will merge them um, as well. However you want to, to do that is, is totally up to you. So now you have a man one copy. So let's rename that one and let's just rename it man. Okay so we should have a background and a man. We can go on. This is before everything that we've done. This is after. Okay and we'll really start to see this um, um, oil painting effects start to take place here uh, real quick. Okay, let's go to Filter, Sharpen, and we want to do Unsharp Mask. And I want to take the amount of this up to 135. And keep the radius at 2.0 and the threshold at 0. So amount is 135. Radius 2.0, threshold is 0. And you can go ahead and click OK on that. And now I want to go to Filter, Stylize, and I want to choose Diffuse. Okay. Now to make this uh, work, I want to use the bottom choice here, Anisotropic. 
and I want to make that the one that we're going to use. So go ahead and after you check that you can go ahead and you can hit OK. Now the next part's kind of odd but it's just something that adds to the effect. So we're going to go to image, image rotation and we're going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. So now he's going to sit that way. We're going to go back up to filter, but this time you can use the diffuse that's at the very top. You don't have to go back down to stylize and diffuse. You can just use this one that's right at the top. So go ahead and click that. It'll have to take a minute to kind of do the effect for you. Okay, now after that's done, we'll go to image, image rotation. We're going to go 90 degrees clockwise again, so it's upside down. Same thing, filter diffuse and let it work through what it has to do here okay then we go image image rotation 90 degrees clockwise and yes you guessed it we're going to go filter and diffuse again And then finally we'll go image, image rotation, and bring it back um, to normal. Now I think what I would do at this point if I was you is I would start to kind of zoom in here a little bit on his face because now you're starting to see kind of the paintbrush stuff and the how it you know looks like it's been uh, painted out with a paintbrush. The effect's really starting to um, take place now. So let's do some more adjustments on it. Let's go to filter, noise, and reduce noise. What noise is in in a photo is that noise is the like specks or um, grain sometimes that you see in pictures and you can remove that noise. This what we're going to do is going to just help smooth out his skin um, a little bit. Zoom out a little bit here so you can see it a little bit better. So what we want to do is we want to take the strength to 10 and everything else down to 0. Take the strength to 10 and everything else down to um, 0. And then you can go ahead and hit OK. It's, it's subtle. The, the effect there is subtle. Um, but it does, uh, does smooth him out just a little bit. We're going to go back up to Filter to Sharpen again. And we're going to go back and we're going to use this Unsharp Mask one more time. This time I want to take the amount down below 100, so we'll just go 99, since that's below 100, and make the radius 2.0 and the threshold um, threshold 0. If you do on and off here, you can kind of see some change that's taking place, uh, especially like in the hair. It's bringing out some highlights um, in the hair. Go ahead and hit OK after you have that. And now's a good time to save. So make sure that you save, go file, save as, and you can keep it the name Man is Oil Painting 2, that's fine. Uh, make sure that you save it in your, your main folder, not in the oil painting folder. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to duplicate the man layer. So do that as you uh, wish to do it, however you want to do it. Control J, drag it down, again however you want to do that and then we're going to rename it and we're going to call it effects okay now we're going to go up to filter we're going to go down to other and we're going to choose high pass again and we're going to do this at 2.0 uh, pixels for the radius and hit OK then just like we did before, we're going to change the blend mode on that to overlay. If you click your eyeball on and off, you can still see that we're just we're bumping this up and really uh, making some of the things uh, pop um, on his face. Okay, now we're going to use a, a keyboard shortcut that we uh, don't use real often. This is a, a big, long uh, keyboard shortcut. And here's how it goes. You're going to hold down Alt, then Control, then Shift, and then the letter E. Alt, Control, Shift, and E. 
What that'll do is it takes the background layer, the man layer, the effects layer, merges them all together into a layer on top, okay, without merging the three down here. So it puts them all up here into one layer. So if I turn these other layers off, I still have my uh, effect. If I turn this off, I still have my effect because it's all merged here. Rename that one. And we're going to call it Tone, T-O-N-E, Tone. Go to Image, and just right down underneath that, you'll see Auto Tone. Go ahead and click on that. Now, you notice that really brightened his face up uh, quite a bit, uh, almost too much. Um, so we want to take the opacity. Let's drop the opacity down to about 50% on that to kind of knock that down a little bit. Okay, you might want to go ahead and hit Control S uh, and save again after that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. Okay, you can do that down here at the bottom of your layers, right next to the garbage can. Um, if you want to, you could always go Layer, New, and choose Layer if you wanted to. A um, lot of different ways to do that. Okay, now we're going to need to zoom out on our picture. So Control 0 will allow you to zoom out so you can have the full part of it. Okay, and we want to rename this layer and call it Lights. Now this is kind of a tricky part of this because of the computers not handling the paintbrush tool as well as they should, uh, but we'll do the best we can here. Okay, so we're going to get our paintbrush tool. You can get it right here on the toolbar or press B on your keyboard, however you want to do that. Okay, then we're going to come up here to our tool, our paintbrush settings right up here at the top. And we want to make sure the hardness is zero. And I would take the size all the way over to 5,000 pixels. And you can hit enter to get out of that. Now you can see big brush. You're not going to be able to see that because your brush disappears after you get to a certain point. Uh, so you're just going to have to kind of try this and do, do the best you can. And I'll kind of show you a trick maybe to help you do that. Go to your foreground color. And we want to put this hex code in, or you can use something very close to this if you want to. It's up to you. Um, C, D, 3, 2, E, E. And it's just a kind of a bluish um, collar there. Go ahead and hit OK. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some lighting on the side of the picture there. For you guys, that paintbrush isn't going to be there. So... Uh, a trick you might want to try is as you just kind of start here on the side and just kind of work your way over and kind of just, you know, try your best um, to do it. I'm going to go about right here, I think, and I'm just going to click one time and it's going to put the blue. Now, let's just say for instance, you did that and it didn't work right. Remember, you can control Z and it'll take you out of it and you can try it. Uh, again until you get it exactly the way um, that you want it to be. It takes just a little practice on that one and messing with the paintbrush because of the problems we have with it. Okay, we're going to go down. We're going to change the foreground color again. This time the hex code is going to be F92 F5A. F92 F5A. It's kind of a reddish color and hit OK. Exact same thing that we did, except we're going to do it on this side of the picture. Okay, it's kind of just hit the paint one time, click one time and paint uh, the red there. After you get both of those done, I would get your move tool. And then on our lights layer, we're going to go up and we're going to change the blending mode to overlay. I'm going to zoom in um, a little bit here so you can kind of see. Um, this is before, this is after. You can see that that lighting is kind of hitting his face. It's a little um, too strong. So I'm going to take the opacity down to about um, about 60%, I think. About 60%. Okay, then after you get that, um, you can kind of take a look around the picture. There's the face. Um, there's the hands, and it looks like he's done a really good job of, of oil painting. So let's just, um, one more time here real quick, um, 
this is before this is where we started and then we get to this where we ended so before and after make sure you get a good save and then make sure you load the PSD file up to Google Classroom. And uh, good work today, uh, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow.